Hey, what's up everyone? One Tech Traveler checking in here in sunny and quiet Kamakura, Japan. And you're joining me in today's video where we're going to be unboxing the Nintendo Switch, which if you saw from my vlog was the nice surprise at the end of it, where I purchased one whilst having my day trip in Tokyo. Um, but I picked up quite a few games and accessories, and it's been one year since the Nintendo Switch has been out. Let's go ahead and unbox this and the rest of the gear that I've got, and then give you some initial real life usage whilst traveling around here in Japan. So. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have the Nintendo Switch uh, box and you can see I went for the blue and red. Uh, just give it a bit more funky colors whilst on my travels. And this is around the box just to give you a quick look. Let's lift this up and here we have the Nintendo Switch. Oh, nice. So we have neon blue and then here we have the neon red. A soft feel and the buttons themselves are quite grippy, which is good. Uh, you have the trigger and the shoulder buttons at the top and then on this side which is where it does connect to the switch when you're in handheld mode then you actually have buttons on the top and then of course we have the switch here like so i'm gonna put that to one side so we have the mains plug uh, since it's japanese version you have this one and it does have the usb type c uh, port we then also have the hdmi to hdmi which is again for the switch stand we have the strap for the joy cons simply slot it like so and then that makes the shoulder buttons more pressable and then to remove it we just need to press this lock here push it down all the way we then have the grip which means that you can put the joy cons in the left and the right hand side it's made of plastic and it feels okay uh, kind of standard and basic but i think this is a nice setup if you do want to go uh, more of a traditional handheld and it's nice that they included it in there uh, these don't actually charge the joy cons so just something to bear in mind and then finally for the accessories we do have the official nintendo switch stand which is going to provide that large screen tv experience uh, on the left hand side here we have two usb ports we have quite a nice uh, cable uh, tidy which opens up AC adapter, USB and then a HDMI out. And then of course we finally get to the switch itself which is the main unit. Look at that, looks pretty awesome. The screen itself is a 720p display, uh, 7 inches and has a higher resolution than that of PS Vita and the 3DS. So I uh, look forward to seeing how all the games look like on here. On the sides we have the rails which is where you can attach the joy cons onto it and then on the bottom we have the usb type c on the top we have the power button the volume rocker the headphone jack we have the game card which is a cartridge similar to a ps vita we have the large nintendo switch logo uh, additional venting and then of course the kickstand which feels very flimsy uh, to be honest and we'll see how that lasts um, but we have the rubber footing just on the bottom there and underneath you might be able to just see the micro SD card slot. So you can see just that here. Feels nice in the hand. Well, I did pick up some core additional accessories and of course some games. There's no point in buying it if I haven't got anything to play with it straight away. Uh, but in terms of the games, uh, I pretty much went all Mario. Uh, I picked up Mario Kart 8, the funky racing tracks, and then Super Mario Odyssey. I'm looking forward to having some nice platforming adventures. In terms of these, these are the Japanese versions. And on the back, you can also see uh, the Japanese things, but exclusives in Japan I only have Japanese, so that's why I didn't pick up uh, more than I would have liked to. Very nice case, larger than they need to be. Pretty much uh, like your PS Vita and DS cartridge. The the screen it isn't and it isn't actually glass. It's plastic, um, so it's more prone to scratches. So I made sure to pick up the glass screen protector, tempered. Finally, we have the Nintendo Switch case, the official one. It's a nice pouch. Again, quick, easy, quick access, and you can see it's just pretty much to uh, house the Switch with the Joy-Con fits very comfortably with some nice space and we can close it off.
having played with the Nintendo Switch for just over a day, uh, my initial thoughts is that yeah, I really love the Switch already. It feels nice in the hand, lightweight and still very slim to take it not only my backpack but also ITR sling module within its quick access sleeve and it slots in perfectly. Just being able to play games on the go is the best thing ever when you're traveling around. And I find the screen to be very pleasant and the Joy-Cons, whether I'm holding it attached to the Switch, separated from each other or using the grip they're all very nice to use depending where I'm playing or how I want to play. We'll definitely follow up how I've been finding using it whilst on the move and also how it fits in with the rest of my uh, full gear load of my camera, drone, computer, and clothes, everything. Uh, but for now, really nice to have and I'm super excited to have it with me on this tour. And I've made up uh, separate accounts for both the Japanese store and the UK store so that I can access the games that I want to play. And of course, even though I bought it here in Japan, uh, it's region free and so are the games you just have to create the accounts to play a few things that I've noticed in my initial playthrough and even in the overcast uh, weather it's quite difficult to play through even on the maximum brightness but for the most part the screen is very usable and the 7 inch screen is great to be able to really enjoy the games whilst playing if you want to see more awesome videos like this one make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos around travel lifestyle and tech I'll see you in the next video but until then Keep being awesome. Peace.